all right so i have just pulled up to uh, dynamics barbershop where i am going to go get my hair cut i'm gonna get blessed as i always say i'm gonna be blessed by john he's gonna cut my hair i can't wait because I, I feel so terrible when my hair is not cut when it's not cut when it's not done how it's supposed to be done jesus christ y'all see this y'all see the taco meat on the sides it ain't got no seasoning on it honey it ain't appetizing at all it don't taste good it just needs to be just needs to be refreshed and brought back but Oh, right. You say it, you? I know you say I feel free, y'all. I feel fucking free. <sighs> so I got my hair cut. I'm back to work, but I just wanted to show. Oop, oop. Just wanted to show you real quick. I don't feel like I be doing a good job at like showing my cut, but this is it. Trying to get your face together. Trying to get your face together. Trying to get your face together. Pimples got to go. Cause I'm trying to go to the show tomorrow. Trying to go to the show tomorrow. Trying to go to the show. Trying to go to the show. Alright. So, I am heading to Memphis. I have to leave out of my driveway now but i am heading to memphis i am heading towards this experience i am so excited but whoo okay all right let's see y'all this is some bull and shit i almost didn't pull over to this motherfucker Cause when I saw the sign that said Greenwood as in Greenwood, Mississippi, I was like, ain't that where Claude Banks and Ray Gibson had to do life? I'm not pulling over there. After an interesting ass day at this hotel, I am finally able to say that I am dressed and I am ready to go. <sighs> so excited, so... Stay tuned, folks. Hey, all right, okay. I can, all right, ma'am, I need to see your driver's license and a uh, credit card that you used to purchase. I sure can. Oh, by the way, did you get an email? This like this, this like a VIP ticket. Okay. All right. Once once you get your okay, once you get your ticket, um, you're gonna need to go to the VIP desk beside the uh, main lobby. Yes, sir. And, and present your your email showing that you know. You are, you know, that, that you are allowed to have a Yeah. I am going to melt out here. It's so hot. Oh my God, my makeup. I got like 15 minutes before I can go in. Oh, there's a breeze. Oh, praise them. Praise them.
God, I'm burning up. This drink. So why this drink weigh like 15 pounds? I'm sweating my fucking life away. It's hot, Lord. Oh my God. He worked for it. You don't owe me nothing. You owe me nothing. Ended up being all right. Now if I can just find my way back to my hotel. Oh my God, I think I'm about to pull over. Like I am freaking out right now, okay? I know you, <laughs> I know you're like, oh my God, girl. It just all hit me like, oh, okay. So, I I behaved myself yesterday. Like yesterday, everything went good. And I got my ticket. And then when I went in, we went, uh, the lady said that I'll get everything after um, the meet and greet. So I was like, okay. I, I claimed my seat. I hadn't got a chance to eat, so I couldn't even really have a cocktail. Um, the show was really good. Martin was funny. My favorite stand-up is hard. It's definitely between Bruce Bruce and Dion Cole. They were both hilarious. I meeting Martin Lawrence was freaking 
like surreal. It was proof that God ain't done with me. It was proof that God ain't done with me. I never thought a million years I would ever meet that man to tell him to his face that I was grateful for what he did for me because he did more than just make me laugh. Like, it's because of him if anybody ever said that I was funny or saw that I had a sense of humor, it's because of that man. And I just didn't think that I would be able to ever look him in his face. And I was very mature about it. Like, I didn't flip out. I didn't act a fool. It was a very calm and decent conversation. He looked me dead in my eyes and he was so kind to me. He was so nice. He was so nice to me. And the 30 year old in me before I walked away from him said, happy Father's Day. Ain't that about a bitch? <laughs> oh my God. But the way he smiled back at me was like I was the first person to say it to him. He was like, thank you. Oh man, you know what? My dad is dead and I don't get a chance to tell him to his face Happy Father's Day, but the fact that I got a chance to tell Martin Happy Father's Day, the second man in my life, because nobody's funnier than my dad. Nobody's funnier than my dad. Um, so... <laughs> Nobody's funnier than my dad. But to be able to tell the second man I fell in love with for his humor, Happy Father's Day. Like, I can't, I just can't believe it. Like, I kept my composure. I stayed up till like 2.30 in the morning last night. Like, I couldn't even sleep because I was just like, okay, you be keeping it cool all damn night, bitch. You good.